I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. But it's been a while since I've been angry at a video game, I guess. I don't know. Let's go. Sure. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner. Strapped me into a machine they'd built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors. Discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. I'm not sure why the cinematic is so much louder. Mario Abitore, let me hear. Oh. Interacting with the cutscene. It's a good thing we went through the uh, recap there because I don't remember a damn thing from the previous games. I remember being aggravated. I think I mentioned this last time too that I go through this period of like, oh, I want to play one of these games. I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. And then I get aggravated playing them, and then I forget because I spent a lot of time away from it. And then I'm like, you know what? I want to play another one of these games. And the cycle repeats. Desmond, I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. Right. We finally found the main bad guy, and then we chose not to kill him, and then we got talked to by an AI about ancient aliens and shit. That's not how you get out of that. Let's see, okay, right, all these all these weapons here. Which I don't remember anything about. Gotta hold down on it, okay. Why are we not fast walking? 
and gentle pushing is not working. Okay. <laughs> um, those things are not what they say they are. in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. If I remember how to do that, sure. I would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. and they weren't going to throw a fast one on me there and then have some hidden thing that you can only get at the very, very beginning of the game. Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, at you now! Why, uh, why is everyone's but eyes so damn big? Is it the voice of the devil? Jesus, I went the wrong way. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. So we got in here through this incredibly... It, it's very, very... <laughs> Assassins are all about discretion, of course. Jesus, Uncle, what are you doing? We got in here. Saving you from the look of it. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree. You still have some skills. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Impressive. Right trigger and X. doubt that I will screw this one up. I think most of that damage to him was me. Uncle, what the hell are you doing? 
Right, now... I, uh... Fucking A! What are you doing? Um, I may need to, to turn the music off. I don't remember how badly uh, copyright is a thing here. Problem is, um, I think like the reason the the cinematic volume was so much quieter is because cinematic is for some reason tied to music volume instead of being its own thing. What the hell was that? Okay. You hurt someone pulling stunts like that. Oh my fucking god. Why is this so hard this time? This is going to be a struggle already, I can tell. Stand there so I can get up. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. What decision? Give it to me. You can do with it as you will. Later. Bene. Jump! Alternatively, I could just talk over this part, but you never know. It's always hard to tell what is going to catch the copyright these days. I mean, the, the Mist 3 videos that I did, I don't know, eight months ago, six months ago, however long it's been, I've been getting strikes now. So that's fucking great. At this point, on YouTube, it's just safer to turn off all music. I guess I will do that. Which unfortunately takes away from a lot of the atmosphere. But it's either that or Tell no one gets to watch any of the sun. videos. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See. Si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? I'm going to say probably not, given that there are two other games here. <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Doesn't that look suspicious? That looks suspicious to me. place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? 
She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forley is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? No, no, I chickened out at the last minute. I'll be in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Suddenly everyone just pops out of nowhere. And yet he's still here. The next available memory is shown on the map. That is not the map. That is not the map either. I mean, it is, but it's not what I was after. Uh... Is that what I'm supposed to do, or... I, I guess. It'll be good practice for me to remember what all the damn controls are. Because obviously I'm struggling with that. This box is heavy. Oh, you. I always get stuck with this. Cazzo. Jump. Jump, god damn it. The men in this town are no better than little girls. And need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Alditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Alditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Is it a thing that you can't run while you're holding something. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. I'll bet you a box of flowers we don't get to see tomorrow. I bet something happens at the party. I would imagine there are collectibles in this game as well as there were the uh, first. Obviously there are not any right now, or at least there don't appear to be. Maybe as the game progresses. Hmm, okay. at all what I wanted to do. <sighs> that 
Oh. I was going to say, I thought that looked like it was outside. Cannons. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Um... Okay, those must be double... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll find the engineer, of course. One would think that perhaps he might be highlighted. I'm gonna guess he's probably drunk somewhere. That would seem reasonably stereotypical. However... Oh, I mean, is it as simple as what's on my mini-map, perhaps? <laughs> I'm not doing too well with the whole saving health thing. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France. Yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. Really? What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. He just, he just grabbed it and looked at it. Aim at something to test the alignment. Okay, that's loud. Let's, uh... Before we deafen ourselves again. <laughs> that didn't change that at all. I gotta do all five of them, okay. So obviously, it's a uh, preview of what I can only imagine is going to be immensely frustrating. It's probably going to be like a tower defense thing. Okay, for real, what is the volume control for that? 
it's not going to be a tide of what you would think it'd be here. Let's just see. Okay. So I have no idea why it's so loud. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. Really? must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. I should like to point out that, you know, if we don't clean out the cannons, they're just going to end up blowing up in our faces at some point. Okay, uh, well, can I get down from here? I mean, there's gates, but, you know, why would I? Uh, I'm, I'm at half health. Maybe I should... Maybe I should be more careful. I don't appear to be regenerating at all. Get down. Buongiorno. Ezio. Mario is going to murder me! I have lost his favorite horse! Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. You bastard. Ah, the... I'm spamming B as much as I possibly can. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. I'm just gonna let him go. Interesting. 
I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We are sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Everyone's gonna change their tune when people start dying because he comes back. Alright. Well, I think we'll try and keep these episodes relatively short, so I will end this one here, and I will see you next time.